hello everybody and welcome back to my channel um today's video is crazy because i feel like i just sat down to film his seven month update and now we're at <laughs> he's looking at me all crazy but now we have to do his eight month update today is the 25th and he turned eight months old on the 22nd and it was one of those things where I woke up and I was like, oh my god, I need to film this video. So I hopped on my phone, went to my notes, and then like typed up all of his milestones and developments in my notes at like 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, and on top of his update, I also have just some clothes that I want to show you guys that we got for him from Once Upon a Child and that place is thebomb.com. Nothing was more expensive than like five dollars and this boy is starting to grow out of his stuff so quickly and it's insane. So let's just get into the video. I did try to film this yesterday and he was just playing, hooting and hollering the entire time and it just did not go as planned. So with all the hooting and hollering, his first thing that I want to mention is him learning new sounds. Um, he's starting to learn that like if he moves his mouth, he can create different sounds. Um, he has different screams now, like it's insane. We'll be eating dinner and if he wants a bite, he'll like start screaming at us. And then if he likes it and wants more, he has like a more excited scream. It's insane. He babbles a lot. He's not really said like mama or dada. Um, there's been like a couple of times where it'll come out, but it's not intentional. Um, but yes, he's definitely learning new sounds and he also knows his name like if i say memphis if he's like playing and i'm across the room he'll look at me same when derek says his name um and i don't know if like all eight months old eight month olds know their names or not but i think that's pretty cool okay so i wanted to touch on his favorite purees he's got two um his favorite one like that's not sweet is the chicken and vegetable puree it sounds absolutely disgusting and it smells awful but he loves it and then his other one is uh blackberries blueberries and bananas all mixed together he loves that um yeah so he'll eat that one in the morning and then he'll have like a lunchtime one which could be like turkey or something and then it around dinner time will give him the chicken and vegetable um so he eats purees three times a day um now his favorite like food not puree has been french fries huh you like french fries like mommy yeah um, we give him like little bites of everything that we eat, um, and his favorite by far has been french fries. And I do not blame him because mama loves her some french fries. And I craved them while I was pregnant with him, so I just think it's so funny. Um, now, um he is able to pull himself up like he could grab onto these handles and pull up um our furniture out in the living room is still a little bit too high so he can't really like reach that yet but he'll come in here he could pull himself up with the crib the dresser um so that is crazy it's happening so fast um there's going to be a video that I upload after this and in the background you can see him like opening the cabinets while he's in his walker and we really need to baby proof. Just the other day my dad was here and Memphis is in his walker running around doing his thing and we have like this decoration that's got like these little tea light candles and he pulled it off of the shelf. 
nothing broke, thank goodness, but that's just another example of why we need to baby proof. Um, it's just insane how fast time goes when you have a baby. Like, I feel like we were just in the hospital and now he's eight months old. Um, but, uh, he, so he loves being in his walker, but he also loves like when you hold his hands and walk with him, he wants to do that all day long. My back has been killing me cause that's all he wants to do. Um, but that is like his most favorite thing to do right now is just walk around with you. He laughs and it's adorable, but my back hurts. <laughs> Now, he is not really crawling yet. He's not really showing interest in it. Um, he just, I think he's just going to be one of those babies that walks and runs before he crawls. And that's what I did. I'm pretty sure Derek did the same thing. And same with other people in my family. Um, but that's just what's going on. He's not wanting to crawl. Um... I did realize like this morning he almost got into the crawling position. He was kind of like, what, like, what is it? Rocking back and forth, trying to get into position. But, um, then he like toppled over forward and just kept rolling at that point. So this is new. This little boy drinks from a straw. Um, we found out when we went to lunch and he was, trying to grab for my cup so I just tried to see and he started drinking out of it right away it was insane but once we realized that he was able to drink from a cup we went to Target to grab some like straw cups for him now this is I'm trying to focus on my fist back there this is the Boone cup um it's like a almost balloony type cover that you can put over cups with just a little straw. Um, the like actual like children sippy cup, straw sippy cups, they are really hard to try to drink out of and there's no way that I could have like taught him how to drink out of those because it's really hard like even for me and I'm an adult. So, his sleeping habits. During, like, his eighth month, it was really rough. Um, mainly because if you watched my last update, you know that we had to start supplementing with formula because he wasn't getting enough breast milk. Um, so, during the month from seven to eight, you know, we were really working on figuring out how much he needed, how much more purees he needed to gain weight, and wasn't really sleeping that well and now he is teething um, his teeth are like right there I can now see them I've been saying this for months but I can see them I swear um, and now that he's teething it's harder t for him to settle um, but once he does he does sleep much better now he sleeps maybe four hours at a time instead of an hour and a half he is in size 3 diapers and we just bought our first box of diapers last week. We had so many diapers from our baby shower and my parents so we just had to buy our first box of diapers which is insane. Now he is in size 6 to 9 month clothing and he's very quickly growing out of 6 to 9 month clothing. Um, now if it's just marked at 9, it fits him pretty well, but other than that, stuff is getting tight, so we that's why we went to Once Upon a Child to get some stuff. Um, like, we had so many sleepers, and now he's getting so tall, he's like, they're not wanting to fit anymore. <laughs> I feel bad. Um, so we did go buy some more sleepers for him. Now, as of last night, he weighed 17.4 pounds, which is a long way from when you heard in my last video when we started the supplementing, I think it was 14.2 pounds. So he has gained over three pounds in the course of having to supplement and 
I am so grateful. Um, he's no longer in the first percentile. I think it was last Monday when I took him for his appointment. He was up to the 10th percentile. Now he could be more now. I'm not sure, but that is what he was last week. Um, or was that a week and a half ago? I don't know. Um, now that is pretty much all for his development and stuff that I want to share. Now, we won't be going back to the doctor, hopefully, until August, which should be his, it's supposed to be his nine month, but by that point, he'll almost be 10 months. So during his next update, I'm not going to have percentile for you or any of his like lengths. I know last week when we took him to the doctor, he is up to 27 inches, 27 inches or 27 and a half. I don't know, but I think it's 27 now. And that means one more inch and he has grown a total of 10 inches since birth. And that's also crazy to me. <laughs> um, but he is just getting so tall. Like within, I think a month's time, maybe even three weeks, he had grown a half inch. And I'm like, dude, why are you growing so fast? Um, but enough of that let's just get into the clothes that I picked up from once upon a child um, we've got sleepers shorts jumpers onesies and shirts this is the first one it is an Oshkosh bagosh I feel like Mike Tyson when I say that um, but it's just a little t-shirt and my dad he gets so mad when I put my, geez, I can't speak English. My dad gets so mad when I put Memphis in onesies with the little snaps at the bottom. He's like, why do you gotta do that? I don't like the crotch snaps. I'm like, okay. My dad also hates when Memphis is in socks cause then he can't touch his toes. Anyway, I don't know why I felt the need to share that, but yes, this is the first thing and it's got the little pocket and then this is the second onesie, or this is the first onesie, but the second item. It says Little Slugger. Now this will not fit him very long, um, but we like desperately needed some things because of how fast he's growing out. Like I have a full bin over here of stuff that he's just recently grown out of. And I'm like, we just put these in your drawers to start wearing. And now he's already growing out. It's insane. I think I need to order um, like the little snap extensions because he's he's growing too long for them. So if I get the extensions, it'll make it better and they'll last longer. Um, and I think I can order those on Amazon. But this is the second thing. Next is Captain America. Let's see if that'll focus. Boom. It's just a onesie and of course it's by Marvel. This is actually one of my favorites and Derek found this. Um, this is, it's a very pretty color but it's Calvin Klein and it's just like, I don't know, I just really like it. Like, if I say like one more time I'm gonna punch myself in the face but I think it'll look cute with just like these little plaid shorts but I'll show you those in a minute. All right, so we'll go on the shorts. If you're wondering, he's just chewing on these little teethers. That's boom. They're the banana and pumpkin flavor. He loves these teethers and I love them because then I can like get stuff done because it distracts him. Ew. Oh, I have to wash those blocks later. Um, he also loves these little, like, blocks. Um, just comes with a bunch of different shapes. Um, anyway, so these are the first pair of shorts. They're just blue plaid. Super cute. And then we have these shorts, jumping bean with little sailboats. I swear baby clothes are so cute. 
These are actually a bigger size. I think these are 12 month. Yeah, 12 to 18. But they're cute and I didn't want to leave them there. They're just like little Hawaiian themed shorts. Blue and white. And I like the rope with the little detailings. These were brand new. They still had tags and everything. They are Batman shorts. Now if you know Derek, you know that Batman is his favorite superhero. So when he saw these, he's like, we're getting them. And these are also a bigger size. They are 12 months. Ew, it's so mushy. Oh, we're throwing that one away. So shorts are over with. This is um, a matching <laughs> set that we got. It says super handsome like daddy. And then these are the matching pants. Super cute. Um, this is a 12 month size, but within a few months he's going to be fitting into it anyway. Now we're on to jumpers. This one, I think it's just so cute and I cannot wait to put them in it. Um, it's a 9 to 12 month size and it's like a little all-in-one outfit jumper. And it's got a whale on it and then both sides have a little side pocket. Not that babies need pockets, but I just think that's cute. And it's like a little tank top. All right, now this is a, another jumper and navy blue with white sailboats, um, anchors, captain wheels, and buttons. And I just think it's really cute. This is a, another one. Now we have a lot of clothes that have like the flannel patterns, but they're all long sleeve and in Florida right now, like right now outside, it feels like it's 110 degrees outside. So I can't be putting my baby in long sleeves or many layers at all. That's why he's naked right now because our air conditioning just cannot keep up. Um, but we have this jumper. It is super cute. And then we have a similar one, it's just in a different color. And I think these plaid jumpers are so cute. And they both have the little pocket right here. Doo, doo, doo. All right, next we have sleepers, which was the main reason we went to Once Upon a Child. Um, but this one, it's got like alligators, if that's what you think they are. It's got alligators. This next one, it's like a fleecy material and it's got snowmen on it. And so this was on clearance because it's not winter time, but it doesn't matter because all he's going to do is sleep in it. Um, so that's the next one. And then we have this one. This is almost like, like a towel material in a way, but it's soft on the inside. Um, and it's pinstripes with a little truck and little feeties. There you go. He loves that little mirror. All right. Then we have this sleeper. And it's got a little tiny red car on it. I think it's, is that folksy? Yeah, kind of. I think it's just, it's a sleeper. Who cares if it's cute or not. This one is my favorite. And He's not going to fit into this very long because it's short, but it's Scooby-Doo. I used to love Scooby-Doo, um, but that's that. Um, and that is pretty much everything. I gave you guys the update. I showed you some of his new clothes and that's it. So if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, the next video is definitely nothing like, nothing like anything else I've put on my channel. Um, it's already edited and ready to go, but I wanted to get this video up first before it was too late. Um, so 
please subscribe and stay tuned for my next video because I'm really excited and proud of it. Um, but that's it. You want to say bye? You don't know how. That's okay. That's okay. Say bye.